thank you for joining us for week seven of the watch list we will challenge if you don't know what we're talking about stay tuned and we'll cover how to learn more about what this is let's start out by going to your watch list and you get to that by going to your my WikiTree menu and scrolling down to watch list so pam what is the challenge this week well the challenge this week is all about sources there's a lot of ways to find out where you have unsourced profiles, but one way is to click on that little box just to the left, to the right of person profiles, where it says unsourced. From your watch list, a report of unsourced profiles that you're on the trusted list for. Yeah, that, that big table at the top is all the unsourced profiles anywhere. But when you roll down below to this person profiles, you're going to get a list of profiles on your watch list that don't have sources. The trick is to go into root search and try to find sources for the ones that need that kind of work. And it's very important after you've looked around, if you can't find any sources, it's very important to put some sort of a research note on the profile that says something like, no sources found checking ancestry or or checking family search or whatever you did just so that somebody else doesn't um, redo the work that you just did trying to find sources another idea is to go to g2g and say i'm having trouble sourcing this particular profile but the challenge this week really is to work on the unsourced profiles on your own list and if you don't have any we have a couple of ideas of links for you to go to to help somebody else find sources for their profiles. Once you've clicked on the unsourced link from your watch list, you can also from here just see all of them by clicking on this link up here at the top, show all. So if you do that, you'll see now it has a toggle, another link it's changed to say limit to watch list so that's how you can kind of move back and forth between the two views of this category and you can see here subcategories so from here you can just drill down into your locations or over here there's name studies that you can drill down into a certain surname another way up here at the top is to search by century you can search using WikiTree Plus. So if you click on that link, it takes you into WikiTree Plus, and then you just need to click the Get Profiles. And there you go. You've got somewhere to start, and you can narrow it down to, say, a certain town. So if we go in to this profile, just want to show you what the research notes were that Pam was mentioning. If you edit the profile and above the sources section, you can add a new section, which is the same level as sources or new research notes. You can leave a note and say that you looked for sources on Ancestry, Family Search, and then be sure to sign off by putting the four tilts on there. And you do that by just up in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard, that symbol right there. And if you put those four tilts like that, I'll go ahead and save this profile so you can see what that looks like. It, what it does is it signs and dates the entry. So now go down to research notes. You can see there's the note and then here's my profile ID and the time and date because uh, collections are always added on family search and ancestry. Maybe somebody's coming back to this profile and maybe it's the next day. Oh, you've already searched there. They don't want to go there. Maybe they can try another collection or site. Maybe it's two years later though. Let's give it another try. It's definitely a candidate for trying to find some sources for it. There is information about the research notes. This links into the help page about research notes. So you can learn more about that there. There is also linked here on this space page information and the link to 
consider joining our next source thon which is coming up, uh, I believe, at the beginning of October. So stay tuned for information about that. But check out the Sorcerers Project. The Sorcerers have a monthly challenge that they do. If you find that you like adding sources, you can certainly join that. There's also the Saturday Sourcing Sprints, and I'll link to that in the video description of this video. Haven't heard about this challenge, you don't know what we're talking about, go to the video description of this video, and we have there linked to the main page for this challenge. The challenge uh, main join post is linked there. And then the first video is linked here. And that's where we share about how Pam came up with the idea originally. When you've completed the challenge for the week, you'll want to go to the G2G post that's linked to this week's challenge and report what you did, share what you found out, what you learned, or share any resources or information that you'd like. We love hearing from everybody about what they've done. And then you can, of course, grab the sticker code for your profile. You can also, if you have done several weeks in a row and you'd like to just have one sticker instead of multiple, I'm just gonna edit my profile. And we'll add this sticker right below the biography header. I'm gonna paste that in there. And what you can do is change this to say week one. And then you can actually just copy this text for the internal link to week one space page and just type through. Let's say we're on week seven. So we can say this, make this say week seven. Let's see what that looks like. So there it is, completed week one through week seven in the watch list weevils challenge. And we'll leave the, the text for doing multiple weeks on the G2G post if you'd like to use it that way. All yeah. right, thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll see you next week. <laughs>